Hi guys, it's Ashley here. Today I'm going to take you step by step through a craft to make your very own music shaker. This one's mine. I'll show you how I made it so you can make yours at home. Come on! So before we begin our project, I thought I would lay out all of the materials and supplies that you'll need so you can gather those up and then begin making your music shaker. So to start, we need our paper towel roll or your toilet paper roll. Now I used a paper towel roll and I just cut it in half. So if you have multiple kiddos trying this at home, this does give you a two for one special, but either the paper towel roll or the toilet paper roll will work. The next thing you're going to need is your filler. I have two options here. I've got some beads or some rice. Now really anything that you want to put inside of your shaker that will make noise, a jingle or a shaking sound works perfect. Some other options would be uncooked beans, corn kernels, some pebble rock, or some little jingle bells or you could even use the little rocks that you put in a fish tank anything that's gonna make that little shaking noise will be perfect you will also need a hot glue gun you know you always need a hot glue gun for an art project right or you can use Elmer's glue even glue stick or if you don't have those you can use tape as well we will also need a pair of scissors and some parchment paper and then lastly, you will need your decorative supplies. Now these are the ones that I've chosen based off of the design that I'm going to create, but feel free to use your imagination and pick whatever you have to make your music shaker individual to you. The first step to making your music shaker is to decorate the outside. Now I have decided to paint the outside of my music shaker, but you absolutely do not have to do that. You can use stickers, you could use markers or crayons, or you could get creative and come up with a new decorating tactic for the outside. I decided to use paint and I almost grabbed my paintbrushes, but I thought to myself, what if we don't have paintbrushes at home? So a couple alternatives to use for your painting is to use your fingers. You could also use a Q-tip or a cotton ball, or you can use what I'm going to use, which is scrunched up paper towel. This works just fine. So if you don't have paintbrushes at home, feel free to get creative and use one of those options. The next step, kiddos, is to ask permission to decorate on the surface you're decorating. So please make sure you check in that the table you, or surface you're decorating on is okay. If you want to put paper towel down or newspaper or even a towel, or you can do what I'm doing and use a paper plate. I really like this table, so I want to make sure I don't get any paint on it. So now, let's get started and decorate our music shakers. So now that my music shaker is painted and dry, I'm going to add on the last little bit of decorative elements I have chosen. For those of you that know me, it will not come as a surprise to you when I tell you I picked my three favorite things to put on my music shaker, which are music, Disney, and glitter. <laughs> For the music component, I actually found these scrapbooking stickers in my scrapbook supplies that I've not used yet, which is perfect. And then for my Disney element, I'm going to use these markers to draw Mickey and Minnie heads. And then for the glitter, I, when I tell you I have tubs and tubs of glitter, I'm not joking. Ask Zach, he'll tell you. I've got so much glitter, I love it. Um, to put on glitter, again, you do not have to use these supplies at all, but if you do wanna put on glitter onto your music shaker, you can use Elmer's glue if you'd like to just draw dots and make them polka dotted. You can also draw a design with the Elmer's glue or you could use a paper towel or a cotton swab or a paintbrush to spread the glue on and that works just fine. Now since I use glitter a lot, I actually have a ton of this spray adhesive that I've used over the years, so that's what I'm going to use today for mine. I will warn you, if you use a spray adhesive, it does make a mess. So I'm actually gonna go spray mine when it's time outside, but I just wanted to give you a warning. If you're spraying this inside, make sure you put something down on the surrounding area that you're spraying because there is a little bit of an spray and I would hate for you to not know that ahead of time and ruin one of your favorite floors or something like that. So here we go. We're going to add the last little bit of decorative elements to my music shaker. music shaker is decorated on the outside the way that I would like and glittered and dry I'm going to work on getting the the underneath part of the music shaker secured so what you're gonna need is your parchment paper some scissors and some glue now I pre cut out my parchment paper into these two smaller squares so that it was a little bit easier to work from and I plugged my hot glue gut in so that it had a chance to warm up so what you're gonna do I have found that it works easiest as far as making the least amount of mess is gluing directly onto the music shaker itself. So I'm gonna place one of my squares of parchment paper on my handy dandy paper plate. 
And then I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm going to glue the bottom part of the music shaker, just that circle right there, and then stick it down on top of my parchment paper. So now that I have the initial gluing of the bottom of my music shaker to my parchment paper, I decided to trim some of the excess of that parchment paper off so that I had a little bit less to glue and a little bit less to work with. Now here, I used hot glue, but if you do not have hot glue, Elmer's glue will work. It will take a little bit longer, especially because the parchment paper is glossy, so that glue is gonna take a little bit to, to want to dry and adhere to that parchment paper. Tape also works really well, so if you have, um, like painter's tape would work really great, scotch tape would work, but something that's gonna really stick that on there, whatever you have that would adhere that parchment paper to the bottom of your music shaker will work really well. So now that I have this trimmed off and glued to start, I'm going to glue the rest of this to the basically the sides of my music shaker so that this adheres really well. It doesn't have to look perfect. The, mo the, main, the main thing that you wanna focus on is to make sure that this is adhered very, very well. That way when you put your filler in and you start to shake it, it doesn't pop off or, or fall off. So here we go, I'm gonna glue the rest of the bottom part of my shaker to the sides. bottom of my shaker is glued on we are ready to fill I will tell you that I through doing this I decided to add a little bit of a ribbon just to kind of close off that paper to the, sh the shaker so if you want to do a ribbon or something to give it a more of a finished edge or just to make sure that those edges stay down totally do that again if you use tape directly you might not have to do that the tape might stick a little bit better than just having the glue on there because you have a little bit more control over that but if you have ribbon or something feel free to add that to the bottom of your shaker we are now going to fill the shaker before we get to put the top on now again I have beads and rice. I went back and forth and kind of tested a few things and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a mixture of both because they made a little bit of a different sound. You'll notice that depending on how much you put in your shaker or what you put in your shaker, it's going to change the sound of shake that you're making, which is kind of cool. So feel free to test out different types of materials before you close off your shaker and make the sound that you like the best. So now my shaker is full. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close off the top of the shaker the same way you did the bottom. So you'll take that square of parchment paper or if you have cardboard you wanna use or anything you wanna do that's a little bit stiffer to close off that shaker. You're gonna glue it the same way, except for it'll be a little more difficult now. You'll glue the top and then you'll lay this on top instead of being able to flip it back over. But you'll just close off the top of your shaker and then if you decided to use the ribbon as the edge, you'll do that as well. And then both the top and the bottom of your shaker will be finished. your very own music shaker. All that's left to do now is to get up, find your favorite song, and shake along to the beat. Make sure to post below a picture or a video of the music shakers that you made at home, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!